Oh, dude. What the hell, man? I miss you. That Jordan. People want to know what's new. People want fresh merchandise. Love this set. Kobe Bryant patch auto. Joel Embiid. Look at those flawless autos. We've never sold cards as quickly before. The one goal beyond everything else that we're doing right now is we're pitching hard. We have a great production company. We're looking to do things on the flip side that would actually All right, you guys, we're at one of my favorite places in the entire world, the happiest place in the hobby. The Disneyland's already rubbing off. You know we had to rep Otani. We got a front parking. I've done so many deals here with Ryan, Rob's son, and I've had this for a while, and he's not gonna be here, but I'm gonna drop it off. We just happen to be in LA. I got Peja Stojakovic to sign this for Ryan, and I wanna give this to him as a gift. So I'm gonna leave it for him. He PCs Peja, of all the people, Sacramento Kings, he PCs Peja. And, I, and if you ever come here and you wanna sell cards, Ryan's always the guy that I enjoy dealing with. Shout out to Ray Ray as well. Ryan's been so gracious to me all over the years that I wanted to give it back. And then in here, there's about four signed Peja rookies and a bunch of other stuff. You look busier than usual and today's a Monday. Oh yeah, dude, it's, it, cardboard never sleeps is what the issue is. And uh, yeah, we just got done putting together tonight's eBay Live, which will be a Monday. It's 160 cards will be showing nice. off. And tell them what you have in one week. Big got a card show. show. Got a card show. Not got just any card show. show. Got the Burbank card show. It's going to be a week from Thursday. Um, Anaheim. A lot going on, man. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> But uh, we're excited. The whole card community seems excited. So what the hell? Let's have a party. Let's go. Let me see what you got in your hands. Oh, dude. Run, just... run through some run through here. What yeah, do we got? This will be some of tonight's stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the last time you saw that. Man. That is a, That's a sick that Iverson. That is a beautiful card. Yeah. Well. Man, we haven't had that in a while. Well, bro, we got football season coming. Ooh, five out of ten. Not bad. Dang, Trout. CP3 gold rookie. Yeah, look at that T-Law. Yeah, this is what we do every single night. Just yeah. grinding, man. Dude. So so Ryan's obviously not here buying, so what does a Monday look like at Burbank? I've never been here on a Monday. Monday's it's chill. My first time. It's, we don't have anything, anyone buying. Ray basically prices up all the slabs that were bought on uh, Saturday, and he's pricing up all the premium raw right now. And it's a day to just get things done, get things broken down, get things to where people, you know, work on them. I'm working on baseball. This whole box is Topps Heritage Chrome uh, Anniversary. Oh, yeah, nice. This is all stuff that's so You're going. breaking those down for the eBay store? Yeah, this is that. That's Topps Chrome. That's Topps Chrome. Jesus. It's just a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's just a lot of stuff. So what is, let me ask you, before the end of the year, what's something you want to get done? You got probably to get... Um, a TV show picked up by a streaming service. I think that's probably the the one goal beyond everything else that we're doing right now is we're pitching hard. We have a great production company, and we have um, we have another production company that's looking to move it forward. And we have an agent as well, so that might be the next step. And kind of like what Kenny Golden's doing is really cool but it doesn't really showcase the actual hobby. We're looking to do things on the flip side that would actually um, put the hobby in its best light and just kind of show what the Burbank experience is and hopefully uh, be able to get more people into the hobby by seeing this and the passion that we have for it and just all the cool things that make up this great hobby. So I think that would be the thing. Um, we have a lot of other big things, but we'll get those done. It's This one is the one I might need some help with, so we'll see. All right, so it's the card father here. It's a Monday, and I've got Orlando here from El Paso. Yes, that's correct. And you were in on Saturday for the first time. For the first time. Came back again. Definitely. <laughs> what, what was your impression of the shop? Um, it was it was just amazing. I knew what I wanted, uh, but I just switched my mind when I saw all the singles you guys carry. <laughs> I ended up trading uh, what I expected, you know, like I went to another trade um, source in uh -huh. El Paso. They don't even take your trade. They don't even want to buy your cars. or right. They don't want to do interact with the customer. And this was just amazing. It, it was, was crazy here on Saturday, Saturday, right? right? Yes. Oh, crazy, dude. crazy. Did you get over to the warehouse to see the warehouse as no, well? No, no, we just shop around and everything. But it was just, the, the amazing was I appreciate incredible. that. Incredible. Incredible. It was yes. really good. And I got this clown in also. <laughs> We're always back. It's my second home. 
<laughs> all right, so you're always trying to interview me and putting a phone in my face and everything, yes. and it's my turn now. Um, just a couple questions. You've been busy. You've been traveling. Um, are you finally settled down and back? Are you still traveling the country? We're planning our next little travels, but, you know, um, we're always moving. The, the business can be run from anywhere. Yeah, this is true. So what was a highlight? You went from California all the way out to Chicago, and how many shops did you stop at? Yeah, we did 17 shops in five weeks. Jeez. Yeah. The highlight was Effingham. Dude. John I, and Lisa. John Their and home Lisa is above the shop. I told you, I told you, I go, this is the shop you need to stop. They weren't even on your radar, were they? They weren't on my radar until you mentioned it. Yeah, they're like some of my favorite people. They run one of the nicest shops in the country. They have a building of which they live upstairs above their hobby shop as husband and wife. And she seems to be the one that's more into the cards than he is. So it's, they're really cool people. Yeah, um, what do you think about the National? I thought the National was great. It was super hot, uh, but it was a great experience as always. So what do you think? We got some big news today um, with uh, Fanatics getting an NFL license. It's kind of rocked the whole world. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. First thoughts? Anything off the top of your head? Uh, yeah, panic slowly. You never know what's going to happen in this hobby. It's always Fanatics is doing this, Tops is doing that, Panini's losing this, Upper Deck's going to get this. I think just panic slowly. We don't really know what's going to happen, but I mean... Just tread, tread lightly, you never know. And any of the noise out there, it is what it is. I'm a big fan of Fanatics. I think that they're gonna really grow the market and looking forward to seeing what those guys will pull off there. This business almost grew to the size that it is by accident. It's almost like it just accidentally got this big. If there was really something fueling the marketing and getting commercials onto ESPN and things during live sports and having athlete interactions in the card game, um, I just, 10 times, 10 times the collectors might be a stretch, but I can certainly see two to three time growth in the next couple of years. And I think it's going to be fanatics that powers that. I'm always curious. I love visiting other shops. I used to do it all the time. Just don't have the time anymore. Yeah. You know, I know a highlight was, you know, John and Lisa, but was there anything really interesting, like a shop that did something that you'd never seen before, like an interesting twist on things, maybe a promotion or a display? Was there anything that really stood out? I thought I thought Hit Seekers, the there was a shop that partnered up with an MLB team. I've never seen something like that. That was interesting. Some of the shops were u were utilized as like safe spaces for kids in the Midwest. Like mm -hmm. a lot of the kids came there to like stay safe and just feel like safe. And I've never heard a shop really talk about that. And Sounds like an after school program. Yeah, almost. I know, right? The kids are just going through the dime boxes and um, all that stuff. But I thought community wise, there was just a lot of community spirit there. Yeah. Kind of, it's kind of missing in some areas in the West, but mm -hmm. I mean here obviously it's it's way present. But yeah, it's cool to see it. And obviously I saw a lot of adopted things from Burbank. Oh no! Into these Someone shops. stole my ideas again. <laughs> hey, you know what though? Awesome. Nothing's stolen because oh, it takes no. twenty to thirty years to even build it in the first uh, place. I'm here to give so, it, dude. I'm here to give it back. I, I wouldn't be filming everything I do unless I wanted people to take it and, and run with it. So yeah. this is the best market in the country, like bar none. And yeah. it just. We're in the Mecca. Mecca We're, Sports Cards, Southern it, California. You can't beat it. Rob, you have one PC. We're yeah. talking about PCs. Well, I think the hobby is about connecting with something fun and kind of bringing out the kid in you. I think that that's what's important. And nothing brings out the child in me than something as childlike as this. All right, run through them. Okay, so we're going to go over all the different names here. You got Dick Pole, Rusty <laughs> Dick the Bruiser, Pete Lecoq. She can't. Dick Felt, Dick Shiner, Dick Suck, Dick Wood, <laughs> Dick Paradise, Dick Trickle, J.R. Cock. This is ridiculous, right? Harry Ball. Just got Sean Longstaff in. That was a recent pickup. Jay Hardstaff, Dick Harder, Dick Hyde. You got the C3PO boner. You got C.L. Badcock, Kofi Cockburn, and Wang Dong. There it is. And what do you think? It's interesting. <laughs> Chris Mullen, Steph Curry. It's a great looking card. S. Hulk Hogan, Color Blast. Zachary Neto, finally got the name right. Purple Snake Skin Shack. Jalen Green. Nice Bones Highland Black Floss. It's a nice card. Trey Lance, that's RC. All right, so this was last week's Monday new arrival case. So last lengthy. Monday. We put 160 fresh cards in this showcase. We show them on eBay Live, and then from there, they go on to eBay, they go on to BurbankCards.com, 
then they hit the showcase that day. So we start off with 160 cards, and we're left with this at the end of the week. So you can see just how many cards sell, because the showcase is filled. This Wednesday case got ravaged. Um, I was going to say, it looks really empty. Yeah, it was I've full. never seen it like this. Yeah, and literally that's the way it's going to look until next Wednesday when we throw a fresh 160 in. But we've kind of cracked the code on how to sell singles. People want to know what's new. People want fresh merchandise. And the fact that somebody can sell us cards on Tuesday, that following day they're on eBay Live that night, and then they go into that showcase the next day so you know where all those cards are going to be. When we show it on eBay Live, it forces a lot of our customers to have to watch that eBay Live because I'm premiering those cards to everybody. Once we do the eBay Live, then it's on eBay overnight. Then it goes to BurbankCards.com that night as well. Then whatever is remaining goes into the showcase. So that 160 goes to 130, goes to 80, goes to 40 cards left. And we've never sold cards as quickly before. And people love the system what are, what are people buying in store you think like what's the what's they're, the regular they're buying everything <laughs> they really yeah. are um, is there like a special price point that you see the people buying in cards right now um it's everywhere um whether it's three to ten dollar slabs or fifteen thousand dollar slabs hobby buy, it's we've literally never sold more cards than we're selling right now wow. whether it's physically whether it's online but we're working, we outwork everybody. No one outworks Burbank. No one out buys stuff, out processes stuff, out markets us, or outsells us on singles. And it's, it's a grind, but it's also every single day making sure that we're fresh. Every single day, those graded value boxes are gonna have fresh cards. Every single day, the showcases are gonna get filled. Every single day, we're gonna be buying and spending money, and. These are things that don't always get done every single day everywhere else. So mm. just changing the game, just listening to our customers. You know, what do our customers want? They want fresh cards. They want to know where they're going to be. And they want to come in three, four times a week and not see the same shop twice. Hey, shout out to Jake LaRavia. He collects cards. Brett Beattie, not bad. That Kobe is beautiful. He's on card auto. That Kate Cunningham gold. Neymar Nike swoosh auto. Shaq 105, look at that. One, two, three color. Paul Dabala, James Cook Auto, Roger McCurry Gold, Josh Palmer. Why are you looking at the rocky? <laughs> because this is where a lot of the mascot cards are. The mascot? And uh, I always love the patch autos. What are we looking for in here? You guys find anything, you find anything good? A little bit, some older stuff right older now. Older stuff, what are we looking for? Any specifics? Any USC players. USC? Any Carolina Panther stuff. Okay. Anything cheap. Okay, I see you. What are we looking for, sir? Just random cards, man. I, whatever I can find, honestly. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> There's nothing like digging through boxes, right? Just That's chilling out, team. laying back. Uh, Jordan. Holy. Jordan. Nice exquisite patch. Love this set. Kobe Bryant patch auto. BGS9. Derek Carr freaking logo tag auto. Derek Carr, Devontae Adams. Derek Carr NT, three out of five. Look at these. Pink auto. The green. Kevin McHale logo man auto. John Morant. So awesome to just look at some of these beautiful liquid sports cards in showcases like this. Just, just got my eyes on these. They're so nice. Card, cards like these are just CJ McCollum RPA, Nebula Choice. John Maul Murray, very fitting cards. Some guys that are kind of down but could go up. Donovan Mitchell, Jamal Murray Green, Lamar Odom, one of one. That beautiful Jambalaya Shack, it's unbelievable. It's Tony Parker, that Jeremy Sochan Gold, he's gonna be good this year, I think. Anthony Simons Orange Prism, Anthony Simons Cracked Ice, Bill Russell Championship Trophy Auto, Clay Thompson NTRPAs. I mean, this list goes on. Look at this, Jalen Smith. RPA, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Cam Reddish, Gary Trent, Gold Auto. <laughs> what are you trying to do? No, I'm not going to tell them. Uh, come on, just tell us what you're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to do a TikTok. Whoa, got her. Got you caught in 4K. Uh, anyway, back to the cards. Look at these. Nice cards of beauty. Julia Serving. And these cards, just let me show you some of the highlights. These are unbelievable. Joel Embiid. 
Look at those flawless autos. Sheesh. You guys, you told me I never show the hockey, so let's run through. Mario, Super Mario Lemieux, Patch Auto Logos, Mitch Garner. He's, he signed it twice. Oh no, Mike, Mark Shifley and Mitch Marner. Sorry, I look the same. Wayne Gretzky, OPG. Brett Hull, two out of three. Connor McDavid, SP game used, on patch auto. Connor McDavid, BGSA. Sidney Crosby, Fleer Ultra. Crosby upper deck, and that's a good one. Look at that red prism first year. And then just moving on, Naomi Osaka, look at that. I know she's not doing well, but. Chewbacca auto, Tony Hawk in red ink. Winston Churchill Auto, are you kidding me? The selection here is just phenomenal. All right, I found the steel of the box, everyone. We found a 2018 crypto. Here it is, it says on the back, cryptocurrency virtual currency is a digital cash system that does not require the backing of a centralized bank. Bitcoin, the most prominent one, began in 2008 as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic. Cash system transactions are ledgers and databases. This is from 2018. Back when it was Back when it was new. Mm -hmm. I mean, new to us. New to us. This card in the PSA 10 was like, I want to say a grand, peak COVID, because it was like interesting. Cool. That one in the egg, right? The egg. I oh, the she egg. knows about the egg, bro. <laughs> Look how cheap F1 is now. Nothing like an 8.5. All right, you guys, that's a wrap at Burbank Cards. Didn't buy anything, but spent some time hanging with Rob, caught up. I feel like when I come in here, it's like therapy, man. I could just come in and do my thing, appreciate cards, and just go through them. You're never obligated to buy. It's, for me, it's a social hangout. Today, on if you come to Burbank on a Monday, it's a very chill day. They're not buying cards, but you can buy cards yourself and do deals. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. 